All right, folks. Made it over here to co-op. Got our permethrin, permethrin, however you want to say it. We're going to try Mr. Mike Berry's little trick, too, if you will. See how it works in them larvae in the ground. But we're going to head to the house. we get into the nuke boxes and see how peppermint's working in them. Still headed to the house. We're going to stop and show you all these heifers. We got one more little stop to show you our happy place. Then on to the bees. But we're back in Alabama. Ooh. Might pause you a minute. It's still a little rather. Don't want to bore you to death. Here we go. A happy place. This is Escotaba River on the northern end. This is where we come. Try to on a weekend or two. Sit down and enjoy what the Lord has built for us. Meditate. Grateful for what he's done. That there used to be part of old logging railroad bridge. They come through here. There was a wooden bridge, one lane wooden bridge for a long time. They built in the 1920, something like that. CC boys built it. But enough of that. On to it. All right. Gonna get in a couple of these nukes. Gonna get in the Seminole for sure. We got in the woods the other day. Pony. I don't think there's about four frames in there. I just ran out of nuke boxes. So we threw this bunch in there we're gonna make a run at the peppermint again see how it's working but all we're gonna do is just pull outside frames today just enough to drop peppermints down in them See none. I don't even see them. Like they've been chasing. Nope. All right, we'll pull these outside ones real quick. Like I say, drop these peppermints in. See what's in the bottom. All right, we're gonna do these the same way. We've been putting four. We're gonna put six in here. It's only three frames. But it's hard to see down in there real good, but ain't seeing a nair beetle one. They done cleaned up all the old peppermint. We did take a little note. Earl Hillbilly Beekeeping talking about them storing it in the frames. We was in some of the bigger ones the other day. You can see where they're starting to store it in the frames there. Mm-hmm. 
bingo left side done. What we are going to do though, they've been drawing this little old frame out, trying to. But this one, we're going to put in here, let them clean up, give her a little bit, a bit more laying room. That frame come out of the the disaster of the hive beetle the other week. Laying room, honey room, whatever she needs in there. I'm not here for no one guy, but there is one beetle. Where'd it go? Right there. He gone. Oop, on to the right side. Got those in. Total of six in the Seminole tribe. So far, very happy with the results. Like I say, most time, this part of year, we, I mean, it is a battle dealing with these things. The diatomaceous earth didn't work. The beetle barns didn't work. Putting different poisons in them. The traps you put for your frames. Piece of junk, in my opinion. But this here peppermint, Sure doing something. And we're grateful for it. And we hope it's doing everybody else the same too. We'll fix some mosey on to these next little little girls. Stand by. On these little girls. Nothing. Palmetto roach. They eat up the peppermint, that's for sure. Knock him out of here. They're not touching the roach. That's the peppermint. Here we go. Eat again. I'm not going to pull any out. We'll just see if there's anything between. Yep, there is one. Where'd he go? Right there. Smash him. Got him. Correction. One. Good deal. Cleaning up. These queens should really start laying for us. Look, no, there's a secondary. Got him. Two. I'll take two out of twenty. On next one. We're gonna get into the little uh, Arapaho here. We're gonna move them up. Get them out of this older box. Get them into a new one or newer, better looking. Ain't falling apart. Then we'll get them into 
10 frames or something later on. We're going to see how this is going to go. Hey, man. I guess it's been a little while since I put any in here, but don't see any beetles running around or them really trying to crowd any. Y'all hear that? It's showing up sounding like a queen piping. No, we got two. And a stinger. Look at there. No? She wasn't able to get in that time. She's starting to get her pretty little brood pattern going on. This is one of the first queens that come out of the poor man incubator. Really ain't fooled with her much. She's kind of been leaving them be. It seems like she's starting to come on along well. Bottom. What the? Oh, that. Sorry about that. Got distracted. I don't even see where they got any crowd up where they've been chewing in that car bore. Good deal. They just no. That's number and it got away from me. Number three or four on the beetle count. This is why we haven't changed the box. That other one, or this one here. The bottom has pushed upward. And it's begin, begin, begun, one of them, to uh, push these frames up. They got it glued in there, don't they? Haven't been looking for the queen. We'll give it a good once over once we get everybody. Huh? Oh, never mind. She said she heard her in there. So. Yep, and they fired up now. 
Y'all stand by. False alarm. She had one try to pop her up underneath the arm. Hmm. Being, being a little stubborn this bunch. One more. Got a bunch of drone coming in and out of there. Oh, let's see. Three. Three more in the bottom here. Beetles. Got him. Had him. Got him. Another one. Nowhere near the amounts. what we normally be dealing with. I know we ain't the only folks, but if they're bad around your place, man, this is a huge relief. I'll get in here and smash these other. Got him. Got him. Save it, maybe. I don't know. We'll up it to 15 or so beetles in this one little nuke and y'all seen there ain't a lick of peppermint in here since I don't know it's probably been about a week and a half I guess we put some in here not bad we're gonna get them moved over let everybody get oriented we get on to the next one Last on the list today, the Nez Purse. Been about the same as we've been in them. Week and a half, two weeks roughly. Let's see what, what these little girls are doing. She getting this lined out with the peppermint. We walk around here, get out of this entryway. Little, little. Hmm. Let's see what's in here, if anything. Ain't many bees, that's for sure. There's one beetle right, right in there somewhere. Here it comes. See if we even got a queen or anything in here. See what's going on. A piece of pollen patty put in there. Oh, there they are. Look at them. That's wax moth right there. And beetles. Mm mm. Trouble, trouble. But there ain't no bees. I think we are 
We are cleanless on this one. Yeah, there's our problem. They all got one. I'm gonna get rid of this box. Yep. Let me destroy this box real quick. Things get our critters go to flopping out on the ground. But yep. We just gonna have to call it on this one. We'll make a split a couple weeks or something. Here's our other nemesis. Oh. Wax moth way up. And a wax moth. There were some pretty big ones down in here in the bottom of this thing. We're gonna get them out of this box. Get them put into this here box. One day we will tell y'all the story behind this box. The very first box we ever got. The very first nuke we ever bought. But I can't tell you right now who we bought it from. But I'm about 100% sure most of y'all know the gentleman sold it to us. That was an interesting day. We'll tell y'all that story maybe in the next video or two. It was one of them spur of the moment. Hey, let's go take a road trip. See an old fella down there in the coastal part of Mississippi. All right, plan B on this too. No pun intended on that one. But we're going to take a frame of brew from her. Not today. Probably do that over this weekend. It's Friday. But we're going to do very little this evening. Get some brew from her. Let them start their own queen, queen cell, however they want to do it. Let them go from there. But for right now, we're going to get this nasty box that had the wax moth and the beetles in it out, gone. I'm going to probably just pour gasoline all over it. Chunk it. Hope y'all enjoyed. Realities of beekeeping. But we are seeing a huge reduction for sure in the hive beetles. Appreciate y'all watching Gunline. Y'all have a blessed day.